Hello everybody, this is Sure Shot Mango. Um this is gonna be my first series of commentary videos I'm gonna be doing, starting off with some uh Halo 4 multiplayer. Um now like I said before this is my first live commentary series or really video series anyway. Um I've had a Roxio hooked up for a while but I'd never really uh you know had the time to hook it up, but um, now I'm, you know, with these, the Assassin's Creed 3, Halo 4, and Black Ops 2 coming out, I figured, you know, if I'm gonna be getting all three of these games, might as well start doing some recording, right? Alright, so I'm gonna do slight introduction to the Halo 4 multiplayer really quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and start playing. Um, so, first off, go ahead and hit start and go in here. Um, Infinity is what they call the multiplayer because it's basically based around the, the ship Infinity and training exercises. Um, we're gonna go to into here real quick. Um, the new introduction you have is well, besides the new menu, is the loadout system. Um, you have five loadouts. You get at different levels. Um, you get I get this fourth one at 26, I think, and then 41. Um, so you have you know your your primary weapon you can choose from they have a new credit system I don't have any credits to buy you get each credit every time you level up um, and then when you save them up up and up up enough you can um, go ahead and buy them and then use them on your class I just stick with this one because it's pretty decent and I got it as a pre-order bonus um, yeah we'll go ahead and go to the secondary have a magnum which is what I like to stick with. You could also choose a plasma pistol. There's a bolt shot which can switch between semi-auto and full auto if I remember correctly. Um, let's see, then we have grenades. Um, frag, plasma, pulse, grenades. Um, armor abilities as we remember from Reach. This hologram is an old one. Promethean Vision's a new one, sort of lets you see where people are to a certain extent. Jetpack, auto sentry, puts out a sentry thing, obviously. There's a shield, um, a thruster pack, active camo, and then a regeneration field. Tactical packages, sort of like perks. Um, mobility allows unlimited sprint. Since sprint is built into everything now, you have a shield which boosts your armor energy, recharge rate, resupplies like scavenger, um, energy recharges for your armor abilities with A efficiency and so on and so forth. Support upgrades are another perk that you can choose from, sort of. You can add in. Dexterity is sort of like the sleight of hand, um, slash quick draw type thing if you want to compare it to Call of Duty. Um, you have some of the other ones, and then you can rename your class. Um, let's see, what else? Spartan Armor, the new, uh, sort of setup when you're customizing your character. This one, I, I like this helmet a lot. Um, this is the one you get from the pre-order bonus. Any of the sort of, you know, woodland camo looking things on the person, like my chest plate and stuff, are pre-order bonuses if they have the forest type thing. Um, but yeah, I'll go with this one. Have your tours and torso, some choices, um, left shoulder, um, visors. Visors, you start out with this one, you eventually unlock this one, and then you start to unlock more of these. I'm eventually gonna go with this one, hopefully. Um, this one's kind of cool too. Um, colors, I'm usually pretty picky with my colors, I'm always changing them around. But I think I'm gonna go ahead stick with the white and red for right now um all right you have your spartan id you have your service tag as usual mine's nova um emblems you can sort of switch around the only thing i don't like about the emblems in this one is that you can't like have like things that sort of fade out you know how you used to be able to have the um down here you used to be able to have the um like these would like fade out as they got to the side they don't have that anymore so I don't know I don't know why they took it out I liked it but oh well 
Um, your stance is the ones, this is the one you start with and you eventually get this one as you level up. Um, this one sort of allows you to be seen better, but that one looks cooler a little, I think. Of course you can choose between those. You have your challenges for different things, commendations, specializations. Eventually, well, I guess once you get to a certain level, and once you get done this specialization, you can choose like different things that have different views, that type of stuff. Um, but in your service record, we're gonna go ahead and go into war games, and then find a game. We're gonna go do some Infinity Slayer for the first match here. Um, sometimes I do pretty decent. Other times I do not so good. Um, We'll see what happens. You know, it, it, it's Halo. You can't get can't get too caught up if you start doing bad. Because I mean, it's Halo. It's not like you're gonna die in Halo. Um. All right. While this is starting up, I want to. Sort of introduce myself a little bit. Um, for those of you that don't know me, um, my name's my real name's Jim. I am 19. I'm a college student. And that wasn't cool. Um, I'm a college student at work. At my college. Working on computers, um, but I do like to spend some free time when I can playing video games and stuff. Um, wow, okay, one like two shots really, but yeah, um, I like to have some fun when I can. Don't always get the chance to. Um, and just so you guys know ahead of time, I'm a Christian, so I'm not like I don't cuss in my videos. Or anything so you won't have to worry about that if there's a pa any parents out there watching this with their kids you don't have to worry about any any bad language or anything I don't I don't do that type of stuff but um the new Halo 4 gameplay is a little it's it's a little different than it used to it sort of like takes the things you're used to from Halo adds in Call of Duty with, you know, a few other little games, but I mean, it's that's the basic way that these games look. Now, my accuracy is terrible today, but we got the hologram right now. See, that's what I, that's the problem you gotta worry about in this game is you always get double teamed, always. Um, but yeah, headshots. Um, they did introduce the um the new sort of almost kill streak system in this game. Where, if you get so many points, you see that little that little circle, half part, partial circle around a box over there. Um, that's called your ordnance drops. Once you get so many points, can't get around it. Once you get so many points or kills in Halo 4, um, you get an ordnance drop. You can choose between. Hopefully, I'll get one here soon so I can show you guys. You get to choose between. Um, yeah, there we go. You choose between like uh, and then a powerful upgrade like this one is mobility you get to choose between a weapon and usually it's weapons or grenades sometimes they'll throw they'll do what they did now and throw in weapons and they don't they don't go away if you don't call them in so um like this one this is one of the new promethean weapons the scatter shot it's a shotgun the shots bounce off the wall and apparently i can't pick it up there we go watch see how the shots bounce off do less damage if they bounce off, but you can hit people around corners, which is always nice to do, especially in Halo, when people camp around corners and all that fun stuff, and I just got assassinated. But yeah, assassinations are back, in case you were wondering.
Um, the detonator. This is a pistol, basically where you can shoot a grenade and then you pull the trigger again and it detonates. So it's basically a C4 grenade pistol. Now, it's not the strongest grenade ever, but it, it works, sort of. Um, yeah. And people do stupid stuff like that, which kind of takes you off, but it's, it's, it's the game. It's Halo. It happens. But, um, now, I'm not going to be doing, I might, I don't know how many of these videos I'm going to be doing for Halo, because Black Ops 2 does come out, and I totally just got mine. Grenades ruin there. Um, Black Ops 2 does come out next week, so I'm not going to be doing. I'm probably going to start doing some of those videos as well. But um, something else I want to talk about: they did add in um, a hit marker system, sort of. God, stop! All right, that is the light machine gun in the game. The saw, if I remember correctly, haven't used it in a while. Um, but it will eat people up at close range. And that was a shotgun. Um, it has high ammo, so you don't have to reload much. But it does. It sucks at range. I don't want to die, so I'm gonna. You see, see those little, those four little lines that pop out every time I shoot somebody. Those are the hit marker, and there's somebody behind me with a DMR. Um, some of these guns look the same as they did in previous games. Some of them don't. Grenades. If you want to switch grenades now, you press the D-pad, and that's how you get killed by the scatter shot. Apparently, those kids. Get luckier stuff than I do. And melees. For the win. And I died. It's okay. It's Halo. It happens. Um, so I know this is sort of not necessarily a too long of a video, but um, I definitely want to see what you guys are, um, what you guys are interested in seeing from me, what you want me to improve, what you want me to take out. Um, any ideas would be great. Any ideas for games, other things to do, um, let me know. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked it, please you know, like the video, subscribe, comment, whatever. Um, and let's see how I did. I went, what is that, 5 and 16, I think? 9 and 16, one of the two. Sorry, I'm sort of looking at my computer screen at this right now. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.